All right, I want to welcome all my old supporters, my new subscribers. Let's see if you're calm, cool, or crazy. One was hilarious. Two, I'm drawn to two and three. I like to put my strongest energy was two. Um, it, it's fitting. And um, and now and now I'm drawn to three. You can be drawn to all three of mine. Only take about ten percent and say this shit don't belong to me. It does come from the spiritual world. Only take about ten percent. And let's have some fun. Please let this be be a, 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 a different pile. All right, pile three. Are you calm, cool? Oh, crazy. Only take about 10%, y'all. It's fine. I, I, this is my last. I'm doing a chair thumb. I'm going to pop these nails off. I can't, I can't do it. They're cute. I don't even know how to use the bathroom with these shits. They're cute, though. They're pretty, right? They're pretty. You know what I'm saying? One came off. They're pretty and stuff, right? This one. Yeah, I, I, I get it. I like it. Some people can. Some people know how to do it. They probably put eyelashes on because they get used to it. It's just really hard for me. But I do it. I order them for the, you know, for, um... Cosmetics for my channel. All right, pal three. Are you calm? I can't see it all. Are you calm, cool, or crazy? Are you calm, cool, or crazy? One more. Are you calm, cool? Or, it's the nails. Are you calm? It's, these are short reads. Are you calm? Cool or crazy? I'm ready to snap them off. I only put a little bit of glue. That's why I put so much glue. It's hard to get them off. Are you calm, cool, or crazy? For people who chose power three. Just a little icebreaker. Are you calm? Are you calm, cool, or crazy? For people, anybody gonna get? Oh, you you oh you close cycles. Oh, you close cycles. You could you could you could be you could be, you could have been a little bit of everything. Calm. People consider you a very calm man or woman, a very cool individual, or a very um crazy individual to the point where um and it could have been at different levels in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, I was drawn to two. So you changed a lot. You had a lot of awakenings. You had a lot of growth. Maybe you experienced a lot of stuff. Maybe you had therapy. Maybe you read a lot of books. Maybe you were around people who consider you very cool, a very calm individual. You could pray. You could meditate. You could center. You could ground. You could go for walks. You could work out. You could just sit in your car. You like to relax. You like to think. You know, um, that calm aspect. You could like to spend time alone. Or Spend time with high vibrational friends. You could read, you know, video materials, reading materials. Um, you could teach. You could, you know what I'm saying? You could have, be a YouTube, um, uh, um, you know, Instagram, YouTube, tarot card reader, psychic seer, something like that. You're very calm. Um, and as far as cool, people think you're cool. Like they like seeing you come around, maybe the things that you say, the things that you do. Maybe you have your own style of dress. Um, maybe you dress like other people, but you put that little extra it in it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Maybe where you go, how you talk, how you walk, what you do, you know, where you look, you know, you just, you just cool as men and women. Um, crazy. Yeah. You could have been, you know, you could have, cause this is a world card. You could have, you know, experienced some ups and downs, some emotional outbreak. You could have, um, gotten to some fights. You could have bullied. People could have bullied you. Um, the whole crazy thing. You could have act out of emotions or you could just be crazy as hell. This ain't what you want. You know what I mean? You fucked around and found out. You could have been a shit started instigator, um, agitator, antagonistic. You could have been very much pro um, tag um, protagonist. You could be an activist um, and it makes you crazy or radical thinking or you stand up for people. You're very passionate and caring. It's, it, it, it's, it, it's all kinds of ways, right? You could be a very, very good person being crazy like, you know, I didn't think to do it. I didn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they made me mad. I had to stand up for that lady. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, that was crazy what you did, but you did it, but people could respect you from that. Or you could, you know, be, you know what I'm saying? Just want to get some sh stuff um, pumped up. So there's a lot of change. There's a lot of transformation. Um, and so I feel like you're a little bit of everything. And I knew that because 8 billion people on the planet and all my reasons, they're always different. So this is the power where you could have easily been drawn to all three of them. And it could be, and you know, there, there could be chronological order where you've changed. And this is what I did when I was in teenagers. This is what I did as a young adult, middle-aged adult, older adult, a senior, or I did this in college, or I did this at work, or when I was in a relationship, I did this. And you changed a lot. I was in a relationship. We was fussing and cussing and screaming, you know what I mean, or whatever. Or I was very very quiet somebody mess with me and I went crazy and ballistic you know what I mean but you there's a lot of growth it's a real card it's a good card right and any karma that you had experienced acting crazy I feel like it passed because you could have excuses why you did like you could have some dysfunction some emotional problems some some things that you didn't deal with you could have operated out of that it made you crazy and act crazy you know being um you know um antagonistic or proactive right I mean um or um um reactionary yeah well are you crazy or um, 
Cool. Well, this is the horn. This is the um very charmer. This is the charmer. So you could have that sense of charm. I think you're very cool, right? This is the um, person who's very feisty, and and um, and then they have a sexual conquest. It's the player and play it um, type um, um, man or woman. So you could be considered very cool. People like seeing you come around. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm seeing a lot of that energy. Cool, like they love when you come in the room, or you come to work, or you went to the event, or your kids enjoy you, your family enjoy you, or cookies or cookouts or something like that. Now at one time, <laughs> now. At one time, maybe you went to the cookout. It could have been explosive around your siblings, families like that. And it was arguing and you, you got on that crazy side, right? But this is when I said this is a real card. You had to learn, you know what I mean? Or you were in a relationship. Nobody didn't want to see you come around because you was mad. Maybe it was cheating, lying, talking about you, putting you down, making you feel like the black sheep. Or maybe you came to the party with an attitude. You were mad. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you did some cheating and lying, some scheming, or it was done to you. But this is the whole thing. Like, when it only takes, you know, what resonates. Um, right? And uh, but now it's like people think you're crazy cool, right? Like you just cool and they like seeing you come around. Yeah, you know what I mean? Even if you have your own YouTube channel, you're an isolated person, it's just something the way you talk, the way you do, the way you walk. Something about you is just very cool. You're very cool. Um, yeah, because this is a charmer, and a charmer gotta be cool, right? And about being calm, he cool. If you want to see the charmer, because he's gonna say something sweet, something nice, gonna romance you, you know what I mean? Maybe give some people some illusions and make them feel good about themselves. Yeah, they, they like seeing you come around because you're cool, right? But you have a uh, you have a whole story to tell, um, Kyle Three. Are you calm, crazy, or cool? Uh, you is a little bit of both. Gonna are you calm, crazy, or cool? Oh God, I want to take these off. Are you calm, crazy, or cool? Yeah, this is a page of swords. Uh, it depends, like. People come to you to be a mediator, right? Because maybe you t tell them at one time. So this is a person who has their own agenda, and that's that that that's that charming could have some motives behind it. But they also play both sides, right? They like to keep the peace. They want to hear what everybody got to say. Um, they're kind of level, um, you know, balance that moral compass, if you will, or you can play both sides. So it depends. It depends on your audience, your target market, or where you're around, a group of friends, or a group, or something like that. You could be really crazy. Um, you could be very cool. Um, you know, they see you as cool, and you know, you're really calm, but then you get around another group of people, and they can make you very, very much crazy. This is both sides, right? And that's what I said. So you have to consciously be aware of who you are as a man or woman. I think you can wear them all. You can wear, you could be a very calm, cool, and crazy type man or woman. It depends on your environment, your situations, your settings. Yeah, because because at work, you know, you could be calm and cool. Somebody say something, get out of pocket, and they might see that crazy side. You know, you could you know go to an event and you, something like that, and they'd be like, oh, he or she there act crazy. You could be all calm and cool and centered and stuff. So you have a lot of sides. Yeah, you could be a very unpredictable person too. Anything else? Are you calm, cool, and collect collective? And then look at that. Yeah, see, this is, see, remember I told you a lot of people, like, people like seeing you come around because you're very calm, but you're more cool. They want to see, this is like festivals and weddings and parties and everybody getting together, ring around the rose and just having fun. So, so you're very calm. They love it, right? Let me see what this card is. Yeah. But you, this is intuition. This is intuition. Like, a person has to refocus, reflect, think. Um, you know, and this is uh, this is a, the original imagery on the Rider's Rate card, the, the oldest imagery too, where a man is in a tomb, sorry, and he's sitting there thinking, right? Dang. He's sitting there thinking, ain't nothing scripted. He's sitting there thinking, outside people gossiping, wanting to get in. And he's like, what should I do? Should I pull one of these swords off the wall? Um, you know what I'm saying? Or I need to think about it. And this is what y'all do. Y'all sit there and you consciously decide on, am I going <laughs> to... Now, what you say, each I got three choices. Am I going to be calm? Am I going to be cool? Or am I going to be crazy? And so you have to decide. And it's real short energy. So you're probably in more control than you think because one had long energy. They have to decide. And they have to learn from the consequences and repercussions of being crazy as hell. Right? Where you, you already been there and done that. You've already wore those coats. You've already experienced that. And I could be wrong, right? You want to let me know? Yeah. Where now you're more conscious, like, I'm, I, okay, I'm going to say this to him, and then I'm going to walk away. Now, I know he's going to give me a rebuttal, or she's going to give me a rebuttal, but I, I know from my past how the outcome can be. We're going to tear this shit up. Somebody going to say something they don't want to say. Other people going to say something, and then the next day, how it's going to make me look. 
how it's going to make me feel, the consequences and the repercussions, and then maybe I shouldn't have did that. And so this, I'm just using an example. So this is what y'all know. Y'all know the whole thing, what, what, you know, what comes out of that. So you're more conscious of not being crazy. I'm going to take the cool route and the calm walk, route, and I'm going to walk away. Because I feel like if you be crazy, it's hell to pay, right? But people like seeing you come around because you're cool. You're cool like that. You're cool like that. Let me kick you your last cards so I can pop these nails off. Are you calm, cool, or collective? It's a no makeup thing. Okay? Are you calm, cool, or collective? Yeah, you're the emperor. The emperor has mental stability. People come to the the um, the um, the emperor for advice. You have no um, um, you have no. You, I forgot what I was gonna say. You have to be calm. Right, because people look up to you, people respect you, people um, admire you. Even if you feel like you was a black sheep and you, you know your life is not where you want, you're still in this emperor energy. So you know that what you do, what you say, how you react, it plays on your mental stability. So if you get out of pocket, they're gonna be like, "Oh, the emperor is getting out of pocket." So you know, and a lot of you guys are very beautiful and handsome, or got the it and attractive, and you know how to make money, you know, and you know how to be in places maybe the other people don't know how to be in. Like me, as in Rome, do as Romans do, right? You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to France, I'm being France. If I'm going to Rome, I'm being Rome. If I'm going to the hood, I'm going to be in the hood. You get what I'm saying? So I, I don't like try to be bougie um, in the hood. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going in the hood, I want people to feel comfortable. If I'm going into the school setting, you know what I'm saying? Or if I'm going into the corporate, or something like, that. like you guys know. So you so you know how to you know how to be cool. Like that's, I keep telling people, you know how to be cool. You're very cool, um, right? Um, and people think you're cool. Yeah. And this is the emperor. Who don't want to be around the emperor? Right, the emperor. But you know, if the emperor went upside down, the emperor can be a dictator and a tyrant. We don't ever want to see the emperor become a dictator or a tyrant. Right? We don't ever, you know, tyrants have destroyed thousands and millions of people through wars and stuff, right? Hitler was a tyrant. And so you're not you're not Hitler, I'm just talking about energy. You're capable of having that crazy side that you really don't want to even see, right? So I feel like you actively, uh, you know, do your little, you know, what keeps you calm and it keeps you in your position of being looking cool um, to people. Look at your last card, I don't know why. And they love seeing you come around, it's the emperor. But you see all that passion and that fire. It's right there behind him. But then he, I don't know what this is. I'm going to call it like a wisdom stick. And then he got the goats. The goats are smart. Smart. Wisdom, right? You the goat around your way. Plus you royalty. So you know what's at stake, right? Be your last card. Are you calm, cool, or crazy? You're um cool. But, you ha but you've changed a lot. You could have. There you go. Oh, thank you. Ain't the sun. That's the best card in the deck. In the world card. <laughs> so you cool. You cool. You cool. You changed a lot. You cool. You're cool as fuck. Look at that. That's the sun card. Illuminating, happy, kind, balanced, emotionally stable. But like I said, it was a journey. So people go, that's not who I am. That's It's your energy. It's who you might have used to be or who you're projected to be in the future. But you're definitely a cool person. You can't live without the sun. I keep I keep stressing that. If the sun was gone, what, um, I, I'm just maybe two, what is it, two weeks or 50 years or something like that? The whole world would end because nothing can grow. I don't even think it's 50 years, something like that. Nothing would grow. You gotta, everything has to grow, right? And so you're the sun, you're the nucleus, right? You're the center, you're the life force. And so you're very calm, right? People like you and they need your energy. You have to vibrate high, you have to stay elevated. And it keeps you very, very cool as men and women. But you, it is the world card. The world card talks about closing out cycles and awakening and stuff. So I feel like you've changed a lot. Woo, thank you, ancients, because I chose power um, two, um, which was accurate for me. I can't speak for y'all. And I chose um, this power. So there's growth for me, so you can choose a lot. So just think about you, the sun. So you're cool and the sun is cool. So there y'all.